This video is sponsored by Vengage. I'm Steve Kaplan for Creative Pro, and in this video, we're going to look at how to use the automatic selection features inside Camera Raw in Photoshop in order to fix this image. It's a great alpine scene, but it's all a little brown, and it could do with being stronger. We'll start by going to Filter and Camera Raw, and note that you can use this with any image, JPEGs or TIFFs or whatever, not just raw images. We'll go to the Mask button, and here we can select Landscape. And Photoshop will analyze this landscape and separate it out into its constituent parts. There's the sky, there's the mountains, and note the mountains don't include the clouds in front of them. There's the architecture, where it's picked up both the building and the small shed to its left, and the vegetation, both the grass on the bottom and the grass going up the sides of the mountains. And we could just select one of these and make a mask, or we can select all of them and create four separate masks. And that's what we'll do here. We'll start with the sky. It has this red overlay over it to show that that's currently selected, but once we start adjusting it, then we're going to find that that disappears. Let's increase the exposure slightly, and that makes it rather brighter. Except I don't want it all that bright, I only want it bright at the bottom. So let's subtract from our mask, and we can choose to subtract with a linear gradient. We'll drag that straight down. And now we're affecting just the bottom part of the gradient and not the top. Let's move on and select the mountains. Once again, we're seeing the red overlay. We can hide that because it makes it harder to see what's going on. Let's go down to the color section and add some blue by lowering the temperature, and that makes the mountains look rather more like I would expect alpine mountains to appear. Again, note that it's affecting the mountains and not the cloud that's in front of it. Let's take a look at the building. Choose architecture, and again we'll hide the overlay. And those buildings are looking very dark, so let's boost the exposure a little. And let's also boost those shadows so we can see better what's going on in the darker areas of this building. Now the grass is looking very dull and almost dead. So let's select vegetation. We'll scroll down. And we could do this by adjusting the temperature or the tint. But let's instead use the hue section and drag slightly to boost that amount of green. That's the right kind of colour, but it's too strong, so let's take the saturation down slightly. Now, that's looking better, but what's happening is that by adjusting the hue on the vegetation, we're also adjusting the hue on the mountains. Now, because the mountains are bluish, by changing the hue, we're bringing purple into these mountains, and we don't want that to happen. On our vegetation, we can again subtract from the mask, and let's now use the brush tool. And we can paint over this to subtract the effect from this area. And now we're getting rid of all of that unwanted purple in the mountains. We still have our bright green at the bottom, but the mountains look much more realistic. When using Camera Raw, you can press the P key on your keyboard to turn off the preview. So here's how the image looked before, and now in just a few seconds, we can make it look much stronger by adjusting each element individually without having to make any manual selections. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. 
And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.